my god, damn it, I spelt it wrong. Frick! Mrs. Obama, get down! What's up? As many of you know, I can't really do a whole lot of physical activity stuff at the moment, like skateboarding, snowboarding, surfing, because of my knee and how I did my ACL, and I'm recovering from that. Because of that, I've had a lot of time just sitting around, and recently I've started doing a lot of fingerboarding again, which is something which I used to be really into, because it, it's, it's just so much fun. If you're a skateboarder and you're out there and you're hating on fingerboarding, you're whack. Whack! The way that he talks, whack! The way that he doesn't even like to smile, whack! Me, I'm tight as but anyway, I've gone back into fingerboarding quite a bit, and I remembered back in the day when I used to fingerboard a lot, I used to make my own fingerboards. I got a comment on one of my recent videos saying, Hey, you should make a fingerboard. And then I thought, Ha! Ah, I've made a surfboard. This is the surfboard I made. I've made two surfboards. And this is the surfboard I made that actually works. I've made a snowboard. This is the snowboard I made. But what have I not made? I have not made a fingerboard. So in today's video, that's what we're gonna do. Search online to see if anyone else was making cardboard fingerboard videos, and I came across. W what is that? Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! I'm gonna show you how to make a fingerboard that actually uh, looks semi-decent, hopefully. And for the purpose of making this video easy to follow along for everyone, we're gonna be making the fingerboard out of stuff that you can just pretty much find in your house. So it's gonna be a cardboard fingerboard. Even though I just said we're gonna make it out of stuff we can find in the house, I have to go out and get supplies for it. First thing I'm gonna need are a couple tech decks. This might seem a little counterintuitive considering that you're buying two tech decks to make one fingerboard, but if you, if you got tech decks lying around at home, then it's, it'll work out fine for you. Yes. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret to find the best tech decks for this. So as you can see, I have two examples right here. I'm sure you can't really tell the difference between them, but this one, as you can see, actually you probably can't, but it has plastic bushings, and this one right here, has rubber bushings and the ones with the rubber bushings are generally a little bit wider than these ones and they're just like better find yourself some cardboard Next, find yourself some cardboard. I would have gone and uh, found the cardboard with the camera, but there was some lady working in that aisle, and I thought, well, that would be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? They have a big spider statue in this town. Why? Got our two tech decks. Once again, if you already have decks, you don't need to buy new tech decks at all, all right? You only need the decks from these tech decks, so a few clamps, two tech deck decks, some sandpaper, Cardboard and some glue. First, you want to start off with the cardboard. Just these plain cardboard folders. What we want to do now is pretty much match the thickness of a tech deck. So, I'm going to do around seven plies of this. You're going to cut out a bunch of these. Now we have all of our plies. I said I was going to use seven, but I've decided to use eight now, so it matches the thickness a little better. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to glue them together and then stick them in between two tech decks so it molds them into the shape we want. It's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> all right, next stage you want to get your glue, and we're going to do some gluing. I'm gonna use a bit of the excess cardboard as a spreader. As you spread this glue. You wanna make sure you get glue on every part of the cardboard. It's well saturated, yes? If you didn't know, this is how an actual skateboard is made as well, kind of. Similar process. You wanna make sure to leave one not covered, because that's obviously gonna be the top. Take your bits of cardboard, and you're gonna layer them together. Like a big sandwich. There we go, this is gonna be our deck. You get the tech decks. I'm gonna place one of them on the bottom. 
and one of them on the top. Make sure they're lined up. Clamp the clamp them together. This is a very basic way of making a fingerboard. There's obviously a bunch of other ways you can do it, but I find this is probably the most cost efficient way of making one. And what I mean by that is pretty much anyone can really do this. Pretty fun, you know, just to, just to make something every now and then. I'm gonna wait overnight for this to dry and we'll come back tomorrow and complete this fingerboard. It's gonna be freaking sick, dude. Tomorrow. It's been 24 hours since I put the fingerboard in the mold. Now, you, you definitely don't have to wait 24 hours. I just kind of forgot about it. And before you take it out of the mold, you want to take off the side bits, like so, and get a pencil or a sharpie. A pencil is probably better because you can get rid of the line. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using a sharpie. Because I don't give a damn. Bam! Trace the outline of the fingerboard before you take it out of the mold so you know exactly where it is. And now for the reveal. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, look at that. Now next step, we need to cut this shape out. There's a bunch of ways that you could cut this out. You could cut out any way you like. You could use a Dremel, like a scroll saw or a hex saw or something, any way you like. But because I'm an absolute madman, I'm gonna do all the shaping with a piece of sandpaper. Because for some reason I find that works the best and it gets me closer to the shape that I want. I got my sandpaper right here. It's very gritty as you can see. You would not want to rub your balls against that. Let's freaking do this. This is about to be the dopest sanding montage you have ever seen. Gotta get my fingerboard sanding playlist, which is also very similar to my uh, other playlists. Also, this is kind of the same process you would use if you were gonna make a cardboard knife. If anyone out there is in the cardboard knife business. I've been sanding for around 30 minutes and it, there is definitely a more effective way of doing this. Now I'm going to move on to a finer sandpaper to make this look a bit nicer. Finish sanding and this is it. I, don't know, I think it turned out pretty well for cardboard. It's a little, little fingerboard. Boom! Yeah, that's right. I know what you're thinking. You did just witness that. Yeah, I have this set up because I've decided that I'm just gonna drill through the tech deck so I get the holes exact. We're gonna use this tiny little drill bit to do it. Now, a lot of people will tell you to be very careful when using power tools, but I say, uh, screw that. Go use a power tool, and if you get wrecked, the power tool life was never for you. And for all the angry parents out there who are mad because I'm encouraging people to use power tools they haven't used them before, of course if you're a kid you should have someone supervising you to use your power tools. Supervise yourself, nerd! <laughs> a power tool's not gonna hurt you if you're not an idiot! For grip tape, I'm just gonna use the Tech Deck grip tape which I peeled off of this board. And because this is a cardboard fingerboard, you don't need to do countersinks. Ha! There it is! I'm really stoked with this. I reckon it turned out way better than I thought it was. Look at that! Cardboard fingerboard! Now if you really wanted to be extra with this, you could varnish it and finish it off and stuff. But honestly, it's a cardboard fingerboard. You don't need to do any of that. Let's see if this thing actually works.
And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, just a fun little project. Make sure to like and <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Sweet and old who we are It'll take five days by car